William, can you quickly connect us to our true self, connect us, marry our higher and lower, lower selves? Yes. So right now, let's just put our hands right on our heart. Just close your eyes, focus right here. And I have you focus here because I have found it to be the most simplistic way to get the mind out of the way. The mind's your friend, but it's constantly scanning thoughts. So now we're giving the mind a new job to do, which is focusing the eyes right there. And now let's bring our consciousness from our heart. Just really tuning into it, focusing into it, front, middle, and back. You can just feel, for some, it may feel a little bit crustaceous, but right now we're opening and opening. It may feel a little bit blah, maybe you feel nothing. So if you feel nothing, just push your hands in a little bit harder to where you can feel the touch from your hands to your heart. To the fleshy substance being that of the physical flesh. And just take another breath in through your nose for the count of nine. Hold for the count of nine, just focusing the oxygenation to go down into your navel. Hold for the count of nine, and now tailing through the mouth for the count of nine. Bring your consciousness through your heart, all the way up through your sternum, all the way through your throat, front, middle, and back. Through the third eye, front, middle, and back. Through the frontal lobe of the brain, the midbrain, the back of the brain, even through the right and left sides of the brain, including front and back, the front of the third eye, the midbrain, the back of the third eye. And we're accessing right now because the midbrain is where your impulsivity is active. But right now, let's go beyond impulsivity all the way through the crown chakra level vortex, above the crown chakra level vortex, all the way through the astral plane to consciousness and the mass collective consciousness, all those fleeting thought forms fleeing and all around like a web from first thing in the morning till the middle of the night is created by all the thoughts that have been thunk that day. Now through the astral planes of consciousness, all the way to the sun right now. Let's just connect and hold right at the sun until your eyes begin to flicker or begin to want to flicker. Let's just let them flicker. Going right into the theta brain wave, the brain wave of pure divine manifestations as you as creator commanding it so. Now let's go beyond the physical sun. Throughout the whole universe entirely, into, within, and through your central sun intelligence, or your creator consciousness, your call. The words are so not important. Let's just let ourselves be there, letting ourselves be embraced, letting ourselves be held, allowing ourselves to be caressed, rejuvenated, refilled up that sense of home. Just holding our consciousness there. Now bring in a stream of light, a stream of consciousness from home. It's not about distance, not about linear space. It's about that source in which you come from, that you are divinely a facet of. It's not based in ridicule, not based in judgment, not based in being good enough, not enough, worthy, not worthy. It's still you. It's still where you hail from. Going beyond Pleiades, going beyond Orion, going beyond Plutonian, Jupiterian, Marsarians, and so forth and so forth. That source in which you hail from. And now let's just take another breath. Bring in a stream of that consciousness from your central sun intelligence or the spaces between realms, all the way through the physical sun, through the physical sun, 
all the way through the astral plane to consciousness, all the way through the cosmic lattice work, through your beloved mass collective consciousness, all the thoughts that have been thought, all the robot behaviors of Watcher and Tree Peep, coming all the way down within and through your crown chakra level vortex in about 131 feet in diameter, going to 132 feet in diameter through your crown, washing all the way through the top of your head, the frontal lobe of the brain, midbrain, back of the brain, right left side of the brain, coming all the way down into the atlas and excess vertebrae, the cervical vertebrae, your throat chakra level vortex, front, middle, and back, down through your upper arms, your lower arms, into and through the chakra level vortexes and the palms of your hands, all the way through the sternum, the thoracic vertebrae into your heart, front, middle, and back, going from your heart, <clears throat> letting it gather and grow more and more and more momentum, going through your heart, all the way down through your solar plexus, front, middle, and back, down through the navel, the lumbar vertebrae, into your crater chakra level vortex, letting it fill up, letting it open up, all the way through the gender principle, the pelvic girdle, the sacrum, and the coccyx bone, all the way through the root chakra level vortex, down through your upper legs, lower legs into the feet, now, let's take another deep breath, and on the exhale, pushing our palms together like in a namaste position, and pushing our feet into the ground. <sighs> a nice deep sigh. Letting all of this integrate now. Because, you know, here's the beautiful part. Maybe you get up from here and you go outside. Maybe you enter a call. Maybe you do an email. Maybe you get preoccupied in some way. You see, the part I love about that, is it doesn't take away from you. They're nothing more than preoccupations. Maybe we have a long to-do list. I certainly do, but it's on my get, along, get around to a list. I'll take care of it when I take care of it, but right now, where we're, you cannot take what we just experienced away from you. What happens is it becomes more and more your new norm. It accelerates, it opens up, it acclimates, it activates. Right now, where all of us are out of total complete perception of space and time, to where right now, can, you, can all of you feel that emptiness in your headspace? That quiet 